Hey guys, so this is the opening screen for the EasyDocs application. So right now I'm just gonna log in with a set username and password that I've already made. And when I click log in, I get to my document portal. And as of now, I don't have any documents that I've made, so let's create a new document. So I'm gonna set this as test doc. I'll make a password of a simple one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and let's create this. So now I have a test doc and it says that I am the owner of the document. And if I ever wanted to share this document with someone else, I can always click the share button and under, if they click collaborate on their end, they'll be able to put this ID and this password into their portal and they'll have access to the document as well. But for now, let's get into the editor. So this is what the editor looks like, and you could do a sim you could simply just type whatever you want. So I'll just write I am typing right now, and you have a bunch of like your basic commands that you can do with your regular document editor. You can make it bold, italicize it, underline it, any of that. You can also change the size of this to something maybe bigger. And let's say, let's change this color to pink. And then now we can also set it to a different alignment. And actually, let's make this all caps. And now let's just make a quick bullet bulleted list, say number one. And we'll keep this as our test document right now. So I'm going to save this right here. One moment, I'm gonna save this right here. And now if I go back, I can always go back to here and it will be here. And another cool thing is that if I do have multiple collaborators, I can click on this button right here and it'll see who is currently on the document right now editing. So as of now, it's only me. That's why it only shows my name. And if I ever wanted to delete, to delete that document, I could click this button. And then after once I click this, it would actually delete my document itself. And also, if you've noticed that if when I click the save button, the last saved title right here changes to a different date. So for example, if I do it again, you see it's 1206 and it's 1207. I save it, it says 12.07 now, so that's pretty cool. So now let's, I'll be back and I'll come back with the double portal login. So right now we have our other application open as if this was on someone else's computer. And I could also register a user right here, but I actually have another account as well. So I'm just going to log into that right now. And as you can see on this side, there is no documents yet. So if I wanted to share the document from my original login, I can just click share. And on the second page, I can click collaborate. And now I'll be prompted for my, the document ID and password. So I could just copy and paste the ID from here and the password from here and click collaborate. And now, it says that I'm a collaborator of TestDoc, while this is the owner right here, logged into Ali, and this is logged into A. Sumar. So now if we go to edit right here, we can see it comes back with whatever I had originally. And now if I go over here, I have access to the original doc on this left side. And also, if you look right here, you can see that I am currently Ali and A Sumar is the screen right here. And these are the two people that are collaborating on this document right now. So now if I go on this screen right here and I say the right screen is typing this, you see how this left screen changes as well as the right screen. Oops, I had a typo. And if I changed it to the other side, I can say the left screen 
is typing this. So that's pretty cool how you could have an instant sharing with another person on your computer. And also another cool thing is that let's say I ever wanted to change the title of the test doc. And there's no way to change it over here, but if you're actually in the document, you could just click on this title right here and let's change it to test document. And now when I click check, it saves. Now over here, I could just refresh this and now I can see that it's relabeled to test document. And let's say I wanted to save this again right now. So now it's saved and I will always have access to it again. And that's a pretty quick overview of the EasyDocs application that I developed with Electron and React. Thank you.